guys, Ryan here, and today I'm bringing you a video in the tier 8 British heavy premium tank, the Paladin. This is the non-autoloader premium heavy tank that has really nice damage per minute and gun handling, but only low alpha, 230. So I'm in a platoon with Nitro France, Spandex, and Luke. We are in tier 8 tanks in a very heavy tier 9 and 10 game. In fact, the enemies have fewer tier 8s, more tier 9s, and more tier 10s than we do. And at the start of the game, on this map, there's no artillery, which is really nice, and it's in counter mode. So I thought to myself, do I want to play aggressive, even in this kind of matchmaking? And that's what I asked, um, my clan mates, and of course, the answer is, that's a stupid question, it's me. I don't care about the matchmaking, I'm going to play aggressive. So I'm going straight for right in front of the flag, because that's where I think most of the fight will be. So the thing about this game is, that we'll see at the end is, I get a ridiculous amount of base XP this game. Like, it's the highest base XP I've got in a couple of years. Definitely the highest base XP I've got since... I don't think... I may have gotten higher back in the day when, like, tanks could still, could still see plus three, and fail platoon was still a thing. You could take your tier fives and sixes and fours into tier ten games. But since then, this is my personal best XP game. So as I said, this tank, 10 degrees of gun depression, decent turret armor, though it does have a cupola, decent upper hull armor. Um, and I'm getting into position here, you're going to see a machine pops up. My first shot, Amoraxin. So you'll see he uses his, you could assume he uses a repair kit for it. A teammate tracks him, and he doesn't have a repair kit left for it. And now with my under 5 second reload, I think I'm on a 4.98, I can now keep him perma-tracked. And you always see me in all my videos talking about tracking people. Especially in this tank in particular because of its reload. It's really good. And you'll see right at the start of the game. Almost 1200 damage on a tier 10 tank with 600 assistance. So, um, great start for me. Um, something else about this tank though. As I said again at the start. Although it's got the awesome damage per minute to keep people tracked. Because of the 230 alpha damage. It will take two shots to track people. And you will see that this game. So I try and hit the weak point of the tortoise, but I unfortunately bounce, and he bounces off me. Now I'm talking about this thing having great DPM, it doesn't compare to a tortoise though, so I don't really want to brawl it out here. Although I don't seem to be backing up too much. Now the reason I'm going to go forward here is because I'll be able to see his weak point before his gun gets over. As you saw there. And as he comes over, you see I'm going to go for the tracks here, but a teammate actually tracked him first. So I got one shot in after he repairs, but you'll see it didn't track him. Because as I said, the 230 alpha means it will take two shots to do so. So Tortoise coming over again, I'm going to aim for the same tracks, and I've tracked him. Unfortunately, because of his tenderies of gun depression, even tracked where he is, he can still get a shot at me. So I need to back up, and I've decided I'm going to track the ISM. Now, I can see the heavy tanks on the minimap behind us, but I'm not going to worry about them, because I've got a teammate over there. We have a heavy tank, I think it's Conqueror. And now you're just gonna say, gonna farm the weak point of this thing. And now, what you're gonna see, as he backs up and shows me a side, tracking shot. And at this point, I knew it was over for him. And you just see, under five second reload. I've got the perfect angle on a higher tier tank, at close range. And now it's just an easy farm. Our teammate's calling for help, I will help him once this tortoise is dead. Or at least I'll turn around to have a look if I can help him, because I don't know what those tanks are at the moment. Now I've turned around, and it is a Conqueror platoon. Very dangerous indeed. Now, as I look over this hill, what I'm going to notice is, the Conqueror at the back, when I look here, doesn't have the upgraded gun. This Conqueror also doesn't have the 120mm gun. So I'm going to come up again, but I don't quite get the gun depression, and I've seen that heavy behind us. It's an IS-3, he's a lot easier to kill, so I'll have to go kill him first. Nitro is with me, and we're going to deal with this. And you're going to see, right there, overmatching the turret. So I fire that one premium round, then I go back to standard shells, because when it comes to overmatching, the penetration value is irrelevant. You'll pen the overmatch point with 5 millimeters of penetration, or a million millimeters of penetration, it's completely irrelevant, it all depends on the caliber of your gun. So don't waste your premium rounds on something like that. 
So sharpshooter's coming around, however Nitro assures me that he's got this, and there's also a heavy tank over there uh, behind me as well, so this is where that trust comes in on your platoon mate, so I trust Nitro to be able to deal with that, so I'm going to deal with the Scorpion J. You see, I'm aiming for the tracks as well as the Scorpion J, but I'm making sure I track him as well. And now that he's tracked, again, just an easy farm. The really good accuracy of this tank coming into play as well. And now time to go deal with these Conquerors. I decide this rock can give me a bit of cover. And because he's not fully upgraded, I'm not too worried. You see, I drive forward just a little bit, so my lower plate will be hidden. Managed to bounce him. Now I know I've got the reload advantage. Now you're going to see something here. The tier 9 medium's on full health, so after I fire my first shot at him, on the move, it misses, and now you're going to see I'm going to try and aim for the tracks. I hit them, I damage them, but again, I don't blow them off yet because it requires two shots. Second shot, gets the tracks off, and I get 600 assistance at the end. So, knock on that first shot that missed, if I went for two damaging shots, it would have been 460 average damage, but because I went for the tracks, I got about 230 damage, and 600 assistance. So again, it's all about the efficiency of tracking. So this game, 186,000 silver with no silver boost, a high caliber for 6,560 damage, 2,350 assistance for about almost 9k combined, 4 kills, 2,600 blocked, and a nice tanker. And you'll see the base XP in a moment. It's like 2,744, massively ahead of the next best on the team. So a great game, one of my favourite tanks, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.